Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. This lesson, we're going to go through the jig strumming pattern with some chords. So, 1, 4, 5 progression, or D, G, and A. So, if you haven't played the jig strum, strum before, you want to go a bit slower, I have a video for that in the description, where I go through things with a metronome nice and slow, medium, and fast. And then we go through a tune as well, just to get your right hand nice and used to this strum. So, in this lesson, we're going to go through these chords, we'll add in the strum, and then we'll put emphasis on different places within the strum. So it'll sound like this when we're finished, hopefully. So we'll go through things nice and slow anyway, so don't worry about that. So we'll start with this D chord. You can either play it with one finger, uh, first finger on the second fret of that G, or you can play it with two fingers with that little finger stretched up to the fifth fret of that low A. I prefer with the, with the little finger added in, just I think it's a little bit more powerful. So then we're going from this D up to this G. So we have the third and fourth finger on the fifth fret of the low D and low A. Second finger is on the fourth fret of that G. Keeping that shape, we're sliding up to the A shape. So third and fourth finger are now on the seventh fret and second finger is on the sixth. Cool, so let's go through that. You have D, G, and A. D, G, and A. So we'll go through this strum now. So it's as a 6 8 jig rhythm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's try that on the D chord. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, So now we'll go on to the G. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to the A. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So let's try and link these chords together. And we'll do two bars of the D, two bars of of the G and two bars of the A back to the D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Round again. Down, down, up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, G, down, down, up, and down, up, down, A. Cool, so what we can do now, if that's too fast for you, I'd definitely check out the video, as I said in the description first, and work up to this. So we're gonna put emphasis now on the first beat. Just to push this, um, if you're playing a tune with this chord sequence, or any chord sequence, it just pushes it along. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just pushing it on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's subtle, so you don't have to go too mad. So that's on the D. So we'll go through this sequence again with that push on the one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, push. Great. So now we're going to do it on the fourth beat of the bar. So it's just a little, little something, di something different. So we have. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Cool. So we'll try and go through the sequence with this. I'd say take your time with this as well. Just uh, pick out your own patterns and and chords and try them out. So but we'll go through this now at the moment. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 down, 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 up, down, down. I went one bar extra there. Okay, so maybe we can take that a little bit slower. We'll go through that one more time. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 so let's see what it sounds like. Uh, so just on the D for the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So let's try and add that into the sequence now. So one, two, three, four. So this is kind of how you can uh, make jigs a bit interesting, start putting emphasis here and there. And it depends on the tune, obviously. So you just want to really, I'd say, pick some different chord sequences yourself. A handy way of doing that, I have a free Dadgad guitar cheat sheet. So there's chord progressions on that cheat sheet that you can use, and all the chords are there for you. So I'd advise that. And it's completely free, so you can check that out. And practice this strumming pattern with those chords and sequences. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, I'm happy to help out. Just leave them in the comment section. And I have plenty more Dadgad videos on the way. So do subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.